Hello, family and friends. Welcome to the wedding of Monique Brunsma and Joelle Juan. Sean todos bienvenidos a la boda de Monique y Joelle. This celebration will long be remembered because you, the people that they love and care about, are with them here this evening, surrounded with such love and support. Monique and Joelle today brings a, begins a life of giving and sharing, nurturing and support, allowing each other to, to the freedom to change and grow as individuals while developing your relationship as a couple. As the days, months, and years go by. In a marriage, the little things are the big things. So establishing a partnership which recognizes the independence of one another and at the same time realizing that you will have to depend on each other for so much is imperative for a healthy, supportive, loving, long-term union. In order to prepare for this ceremony, I met with you after you had read the five love languages. Monique, you told me that physical touch is important to Joel. He likes it when you sit next to him on the couch and when you lay your head on his chest. He holds your hand often and because you know he appreciates it, he makes sure to greet him with a kiss. <laughs> Joelle, you said that Monique values quality time. She enjoys conversations about politics, your various worldviews, your families, as well as future plans concerning your future home and children. She likes walking the dog with you and going out to dinner with you. You watch shows with her like the It Crowd, Corner Gas, and Ted Lasso. Yeah. <laughs> Joelle, you also told me that acts of service are important to Monique. She is very organized and efficient. She makes the doctor's appointments. She keeps track of things for you. She does so much of the cooking. You both share the laundry and dog duties and enjoy doing home projects together. <laughs> Words of affirmation is a love language that you both share. Monique, you like it when Joel tells you that he loves you as well as receiving texts, cards, and special books from him. <laughs> he also likes it when he compliments you and you, Joel, like it when Monique tells you that you are handsome. Knowing and caring about your partner's love language is key to keeping each other's emotional tank filled. You both realize how important it is to let each other know. By honoring each other's love languages on a consistent basis, how much you care about each other or for one another. In addition, the three questions I asked the both of you and the answers you sent me clearly illustrate that you get each other on a very deep level. I was moved by the depth of understanding, appreciation, and respect that each of you have for one another. I would like to share with you what each of you said about each other. Monique, I asked you for one word that described Joelle, and you told me devoted. Joelle, I asked you for one word to describe Monique, and you said caring. <laughs> I then asked the both of you what makes your partner special. This from you, Monique. Joel is self-sufficient. He does not need me, but chooses to be with me. He understands me, my emotions, and my needs better than anyone else I have ever met. He is unwavering in his love and support of me. This from you, Joel. Monique is the smartest person I know. She is also compassionate and will go the extra mile for those she loves. The final question was, what is the most important thing that you bring to the relationship? Monique, you said Joelle can always depend on me because I will provide emotional support for the rest of our lives. I will be there for him always. Joelle, your answer was, I'm a protector by nature and I also bring emotional support to our relationship. <laughs> Marriage is between two people. But those two individuals are linked to a wider community of family and friends. I, have, I asked several of your family and friends to describe each of you in one word. Monique, their words only confirmed what Joel said about you. Intelligent, 
hardworking, considerate, giving, big-hearted, and free thinker. Joelle, your family and friends confirmed what Monique said about you, supportive, kind, understanding, responsible, respectful, warrior. <laughs> I asked the people who know, love, and adore you what makes each of you so special, and this is what they sent me. When Monique was at university, she was in need of a vehicle. This coincided with her cowgirl phase, so she wanted a pickup. <laughs> Home for just a few short days, she found a Dodge Dakota truck. <laughs> she headed back to North Carolina with just a lesson or two of driving a stick shift under her belt. Although the cowgirl phase ended almost as quickly as it had started, that little pickup truck re remained for almost 20 years. Monique inherited both of her Dutch grandmother's traits. Stubborn, hardworking, at the same time kind and very welcoming, Giselic women. Her Beppies would be proud of their lovely granddaughter and what she has become. Despite the fact that Monique's life and job keep her very busy, she is always there when her family needs her. She attends to her friendships and keeps in touch on a regular basis. Monique is a natural gift giver. She takes the time and thought to come up with the perfect present. She is known for her thoughtful gestures and she always remembers and marks special occasions. She is a social butterfly, always up for anything, and enjoys sharing the finer things in life with her friends. She loves reading a good book during a thunderstorm, good food, good wine, and good travel spots. Monique is a giver, she puts so much out into the world, and she does what she does so competently and with such intentionality. I can think of many Monique stories that would reveal bits of pieces of who she is. Most of them involve her being willing to help someone out. Whether starting a community garden, lending out the old pickup truck she used to drive, <laughs> sending a Valentine's Day care package, or volunteering to take care of the sickest patients during the worst of the early COVID waves, or sharing medical advice. We need more Moniques in the world, for certain. Monique is an extraordinarily generous person who approaches all of her personal interactions, whether with friends, family, patients, or strangers with a genuinely attentive ear, an impulsive kindness, and a, re a reliable follow through. She is perfectly suited to her chosen profession as a physician in that it allows her to channel two of her most remarkable attributes, an astounding intellectual capacity and a deep instinctive empathy. Monique is a bit like glue. She's someone you always want around, the kind of person who keeps friends and family together happy and cohesive. As the oldest sibling, Monique carries the quintessential attributes of a firstborn. She is driven, opinionated, a leader, and a caregiver. Growing up as a secondborn had its pros and cons. <laughs> Sometimes it was like I had two moms, my mother, and Monique, <laughs> which is handy when you need some extra help, but not so handy when you don't need extra help, but Monique still <laughs> thinks you do. <laughs> While Monique was attending Duke University, I was often called upon to assist with her biochemistry thesis. Although Monique is five years my elder, and at the time I was only a seventh grader, I proved to be instrumental in the production of a working thesis. Monique won many awards for the work that we were able to accomplish in the biochemistry department. <laughs> One year after Monique treated me to a birthday dinner, we all went back to the apartment and gathered around a cocktail smoker on the floor, on the, uh, floor of the balcony. Using an iPhone light, we packed in little wood chips and lit things on fire so we could make a smoked old fashioned. <laughs> Despite three doctors being involved in this little project, we couldn't figure it out. We couldn't get enough smoke. Our efforts eventually paid off because of Monique's determination to get it right and her love of a good cocktail. Yeah, that's good. I have never known anyone who takes care of his family like Joel does. God could not have given me a better sibling. He is not only my brother, 
He is my true friend who has always protected me. I remember once in Buenos Aires when we were playing tennis on a chilly day. I fell into a ditch. I didn't get hurt, but I did get very dirty. No one, <laughs> no one was around to scold us, so Joelle helped wash me off with cold water in the garden without anyone seeing. To this day, our uncles don't know what happened. They might now. <laughs> Joel is special to me as he is my firstborn, and because of him, I became a mom. He was and always will be a son of whom I am proud of. I am also proud of Monique, the daughter I never had, in whom I see the beautiful wife that God sent for Joel. Joel is a special part of me porque es mi primo genito y gracias al mi converte en mamá fue y siempre será un hijo del que estoy agradecido. También estoy agradecido de Monique, la hija que nunca tuve en la que veo al esposo que Dios envió para yo. Monique and Joel are so similar regarding their future as parents. They have already planned their sons and our daughters' lives through university. <laughs> they agree so much on how they want to create a wonderful life together that will be the great Juan Brunsma family. <laughs> Switch that around, yeah, you gotta fight that one out. Joel is like a guardian angel for his family. He is a dependable, caring, and considerate son who is always there for us. He is one of the strongest and most determined people I know, and everything he does is exceptional. The only thing he could not do is educate Thomas, his dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dog. Terrible dog. Terrible dog. Joel es como un angel, guardián para su familia. Es un hijo confiable, cariñoso y considerado que siempre está ahí para nosotros. Es una de las personas más fuertes y decididas que conozco y todo lo que hace excepcional. Lo único que no puedo hacer es educar a Thomas su perro. Joel cares about the welfare of those he loves. You always know where you stand with him. He is trustworthy, and if I am ever in a jam, I can call him because I know he will be there for me. Joel is an educated and genteel man who also has many other admirable qualities. He has a great love for his family and a great altruism as a result of his immense heart. His kindness, innocence, and humility shine through in his actions. Joel wants the best for everyone and has a heart of gold. He has always cared more about people than money. On many occasions, he actually gave up his commission on real estate deals to ensure that his clients got the house or property they wanted, and none of those clients knew he did that for them. I always called Joel de mi hijo, since in addition to being his uncle, I became his godfather at his baptism. I have made funny, I have many funny, interesting stories about him that involve football when he attended his primary school. But a memory that especially stands out is when they called him from Sony Music to sing. Wow. <laughs> Joel and I grew up in Argentina together. We are cousins, but he is more like a brother to me. We did all sorts of things when we hung out as kids. One time, we decided to baptize our dolls, so Joel became a priest for a short time. <laughs> He has always had a special voice and delights in singing. One afternoon on the patio of Grandpa Ramon's house, we formed a musical band with pots, pans, and sticks. And in an inexhaustible imagination, we were very famous. Yeah. I also ask the people who know, love, and adore you to give you a hope, wish, or quote on this most important of days, your wedding days. And here are a few of the things they sent me. That your cultural differences will continue to enhance your relationship and always bring you joy. Be kind and compassionate to one another. 
forgive each other, and take the time to celebrate one another on a regular basis. May your commitment to each other provide you the strength to overcome any future challenges you will face. They will always remain each other's biggest fans. My hope for you is a lifetime of happiness and health for years to come and a long and loving marriage. I wish with all my heart that they build a family that is blessed by God in every way. Now there is someone special who is not with us this afternoon and it's Joel's Aunt Amelia. Amelia was Joel's second mother and his first mentor in what is his real estate profession today. When he was about five years old, he would spend weekends helping her build her house, moving bricks from one place to another. The pay was really good, his favorite cookies. She taught Joel that life, just like a house, built with hard work, sacrifice, and persistence, one brick at a time. La tia Amelia fue la segunda madre de Joel y su primera mentora en lo que hoy as to provision in mobiliaria. Cuando tenía unos cinco años, pasaba los fines de semana, ayuda Nandola al construir su casa, traslandando ladrillos de un lugar a otro. La pagar era realmente buena, sus galletas favoritas. Ella les enseñó a Joel que la vida es como un casa, construida con trabajo dura, sacrificio y persistencia, un ladrillo a la vez. Amelia, Amelia pardon me, will always be a part of Joel, as she will continue to be with all of you who also knew and loved her. Now we have heard what Monique and Joel think about each other and what their friends, family, and parents think about them. Children become who they are because of loving parents who are nurturing, selfless, creative, and devoted. They are there when you need them. They do things without any expectation of anything in return. There are four parents here who exemplify these qualities, Foca and Stuart, and Lillian and Roque, please come up here and stand next to your children. Foca and Stuart, I asked Monique why you are special, and this is what she told me. Foca and Stuart Brunsma have always led by example. Their love is limitless. Their honor honorable behavior is unshakable. Their dedicated works are never ending. They are unselfish, always giving generously of their time to lend a hand or just an ear. They have seen me through my valleys as well as my triumphs. I am so grateful that they are my parents. Lillian y Roque, esto dijo Joel de ustedes. Mis padres han sido mi pilar y mi inspiración para salir adelante en la vida. Aunque son muy diferentes, El uno del otro, así como Monique y yo, siempre supieron poner por delante de sus diferencias a su fam familia y crear un hogar verdadero. Gracias a su ejemplo, soy el hombre que soy, un hombre de familia. And Everly, if you could bring me the flowers that you have and hand them to Monique and Joel. Thank you. These roses represent the respect and unconditional love that your children have for you 
as well as the new beginning they're about to embark on as a result of what the four of you have given them. An Uncommon Love by Tara Fox Cox is my blessing for the both of you. May you have the love only two can know. May you go where only two, where, may you go where only two as one may go. Que tengas el amor, que solo dos pueden conocer, que vayas donde solo dos como uno pueden ir. May the sun rise and set in your bonded hearts, and the moon never find you too long apart. Que el sol salga y se ponga en sus corazones una dos, y que la luna nunca los encuentre separados por mucho tiempo. May you cherish each other's dreams as your own and turn stumbling blocks into stepping stones. Que aprecian los sueños de los demás como propios y convertan los obstáculos en pendantes. May you brave life's mountains and miles together. May there be no storm your love cannot weather. Que enfrentes juntos las montañas y los kilómetros de la vida. Que no haya tormenta que tu amor no pueda capiar. May you be lovers and allies and friends. May your soul's conversation never end. Que seas amantes, aliados y amigos. Que la conversación de tu alma nunca termine. May you capture on earth what's in heaven above. May your hearts know the rapture of an uncommon love. Que capturas en la tierra lo que está arriba en el cielo. Que vuestros corazones conozcan el éxtasis de un amor fuera de lo común. Monique and Joel will now read the special vows that they have written for one another. Buddhists say if you meet somebody and your hands shake, your knees go weak, that's not the one. When you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. Joel, you are my person. When we are together, I am at peace. Joel, you are compassionate. More than anyone else I've ever known, you understand me. You have always known when my okay is not okay. You are there to provide whatever I need whether it is just a listening ear, or when I have really struggled to make me coffee and take me to work. Joelle, you are devoted. You have stuck by me through the best and worst and loved all that I am. You helped me be the finest version of myself. Joelle, you are brave. You have always been able to make me feel secure, especially against my greatest phobia, possums. <laughs> Per Oscar Wilde, you don't, have, you don't love somebody for their looks or their clothes or their fancy car, but because they sing a song only you can hear. Joel, you are patient. Thank you for always tolerating my off-key singing. <laughs> Joel, as I invite you to share my life, I, Monique, affirm my love to you, and I choose you to be my husband. Today, I make a rational, volitional, intentional choice to love you and vow to continue to make that choice each and every day for the rest of our lives. I vow to choose forgiveness, even when you forget to follow one, my, one of my many Sheldon-esque rituals. <laughs> I vow to choose time together, even when what I really want to do is just take one other nap. I vow to choose to be present and to fight my squirrel moments of distraction. 
I vow to choose to give, even if that means I provide you more closet space. Yes. I vow to choose devotion. Dave Willis says, a perfect marriage is just two imperfect people who refuse to give up on each other. I vow to never give up. I will be by your side through all the triumphs and trials. I look forward to creating with you, our family, and our friends, many wonderful memories. But most of all, I look forward to our life together. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Monique, I know it took us a little while to get here today, but hey, all the finest things in life take time in order to achieve perfection, as you like. And speaking <laughs> of perfections, that phrase that says, the eyes are the window to the soul, it makes perfect sense because from the moment I saw you, I love your sweet puppy eyes. Since our first conversation, I believe in you. I believe in us. I will always be your psychic, just like Pinky and the brain. <laughs> because somehow taking over the world is not that crazy for us, honey. As long as you're taken up first. <laughs> then we can take over the world. You're such an incredible woman. You are the strength I didn't know I need and the joy that I didn't know I lacked. You know me better than anyone else in this world, and somehow you still manage to love me. Therefore, I promise you this. I promise to be your biggest fan, to be your protector and your peace every time you need it, to make a home out of our house, to keep always that feeling of belonging every time we hold hands. And I promise not to get mad at you if you don't laugh at my amazing jokes. <laughs> Today, I choose to spend the rest of my life with you because you have taught me that two people join together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You are my perfect match, and I'm so proud to call you my wife. Monique and Joel never forget what you said about each other, that Joel is understanding and he is devoted, and that his love is unwavering. That Monique is intelligent, that she is compassionate, and that she is your perfect match. Shadia Oshodi will now sing Stand By Me. Shadia, will you please come up here?
Thank you, Shadia. And then you can hold hands again. Yeah. Joelle, will you take Monique, whose hands you hold, choosing her alone to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you live with her in the state of true matrimony? Will you love her and comfort her through good times and bad times? In sickness and in health, be faithful and respectful to her and honor her at all times? Will you have faith in her abiding love for you through all your years and in all that you may do? Yes. Monique, will you take Joel, whose hand you hold, choosing him alone to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you live with him in the state of true matrimony? Will you love him and comfort him through good and bad times and in sickness and in health? Be faithful and respectful to him and honor him at all times? Will you have faith in his abiding love for you through all your years and in all that life may bring you. I do. Two can accomplish more than twice as much as one, for the results can be much better. Dos pueden lograr más de doble que uno porque los resultados pueden ser mucho mejores. If either of them fall down, one can help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Si alguno de eso, ellos sé que uno puedo ayudar el otro a levantarse, pero campa de sete de los que se caen y no tienen a nadie que los ayuda a levantarse. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? Además, si dos se acuestan juntos, se mantendrán calientes. Pero como se calentara uno solo. Though you may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Aunque uno puedo ser vencido, dos pueden defenderse. Un cordón de tres dobleces no se rompe rápidamente. Monique and Joel have chosen to do a glass spritz ceremony as a visual symbol of their commitment. We can walk over there now. I think I'm going to stand in. Yeah, no, you're here. That's good. Sorry. Sorry about that. No problem. Before each of you are containers of glass crystals. Each container represents your separate lives, your friends, your families. You have chosen the following colors. Marine, which represents sincerity and wisdom. Sapphire symbolizes peace of mind, commitment, and faithfulness. Lagoon signifies trust, loyalty, and peace. All of the qualities represented by these colors are qualities that together will strengthen the bonds of your marriage. In a moment, I will ask that each of you take turns pouring the contents with each vase into the middle vase. And then if you'd like, you can each hold on to the third one together and that will show a sign of unity. 
As the glass from each individual container is blended together, it symbolizes the joining together of your separate lives, friends, and family into one union. The beginning of your journey as husband and wife. The combined glass will be taken by an artist and blown into a beautiful vase, never to be separated again. So may your marriage be. There you go. Bottoms up. There you go. All right, very good. And we can go back. Neil, please hand me Monique's ring. Thank you. Monique, each time you look at this wedding ring, let it remind you of the circle of life and love. Joelle, please place this ring on Monique's finger and repeat after me. Monique, Monique this, ring this ring unites us as one. Unites us as one. As we, start As we start our future today, our future today. together. together. Thank you. Neil, please hand me Joelle's ring. Thank you. Joelle, each time you look at your wedding ring, let it remind you of the circle of life and love. Monique, please place this ring on Joelle's finger and repeat this one after me. <laughs> Joelle. Joelle. This ring unites us as one. This ring unites us as one. As we start our future today. As we start our future today. Together. Together. And join your left hand. And now, though two, you are one. A while ago, a good friend asked me, as we go through our day interacting with one another, we should frequently pause and ask ourselves, does the world need more of this? Knowing the two of you as I do, I would say, yes, indeed, we do. Thank you for the honor and privilege of asking me to marry you. Monique and Joel, Joel have been married in the company of two wonderful families and your circle of friends. By the power vested in me by the state of Missouri, I now pronounce you partners for life. This is where you seal it with a kiss. Please face all those assembled who know, love, and adore you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Monique and Joelle, the newlyweds.
and Joelle just need to get a few more pictures with the Brunsma cousins, and you know who you are, as well as pictures with Anderson, uh, Shadia, and Jen. So I ask you to just please stay seated. And they would like everyone else to head down to the elevators, and they'll take you to the basement. I know it sounds scary, but it's nice down there. Trust me. <laughs> for cocktail hour. So Monique and Joelle will join everyone again at the reception. Thank you so much for being part of the ceremony. Now let's get this party started. Gracias a todos por haber sido parte de esta ceremonia. Ahora que comienza la fiesta. It's a lot of Spanish. <laughs>